What's up everybody? This is Apostle Spence. Hey, welcome to We Church again. Phenomenal time we've been having. It is great, powerful. God is moving and blessing us amazingly. I want to make sure that you play a part. This morning, I am preaching out of Nehemiah 4. Guess what? I'm continuing my major series. I got it in my mind. It's going to work. I know it's in your mind, and I want you to be a part of watching God build a better you, build a better we. Listen, you can check me every Sunday live on our live stream. Tune in, catch us every Sunday. You also can meet me right here in person, 1107 Holloway Street. If you're getting this DVD, it's going to bless your life. Get it. Get it to somebody. Share it. Because We Church is expanding. We're opening our new campus in Raleigh at 2910 Capitol Boulevard next Sunday, 8 a.m. Now you've got two chances to catch the dynamic word of God from the We Church ministry. 8 a.m. in Raleigh at 2910 Capitol Boulevard and 12 noon, you know where, right here at the main campus, 1107 Holloway Street in Durham, North Carolina. Listen, I know this word today is going to change your life. It is an illustrative sermon showing us building the wall. I'm going to unveil two new banners today to show you how working together gets it done. Got it in my mind, it's going to work. The Bible said so built that wall because the people had a mind to work. I'm glad you tuned in. Let's get together. I promise you, you'll never be the same. Let's go into the Word and let's go to work. Amen. Just because you don't know the story don't mean it's not a story. Well, I'll trip about nothing nobody bring me. Okay, well, I've seen that before. Some of it I can say, been there, done that. Y'all ain't like this. God said, I gotta get them to understand. I'm working on their design. Yeah. So now, go to verse 17 for me. Because here's the point. Nehemiah gets to working. And when he's working, they're ending right here. He's got things going against them. The Bible says the workers came together. They came together with two things. They came together with sword. They came together with a building tool. They were working and guarding at the same time. Because the Lord said, all right, I want to tell the devil, you are not some kind of chuck. You know how to work. You know how to get tools. It gets working. Yeah, yeah. You know how to work real good. You know how to go in and check stuff. You know how to make sure that things are coming together. You know how to make it so that stuff comes together. And, and even when the devil thinks you don't have nothing going for you, the enemy says, okay, you don't have nothing going for you. But God says, yes, you do. You've got something happening that nobody can stop. Because while you're working and building, you got the tools. You got tools in one hand. And you start building with the tools. You start, you start hammering and nailing and stuff. Cutting stuff and pulling it together. You start work, just checking the work to make sure it's together. Checking the work to make sure it's together. And while you were checking the work, getting it together, the devil said, Well, I'll get it while they focus it on the work. But God said, What you understand is, we're doing this. Somebody say, Together. Yeah. Some of us are assigned to work, and others are assigned to fight. I can't get nobody. So now, while the work is coming forth, the enemy thinks, I'm going to get them, I'm going to get them. But then God sent somebody out. Why they got Psalm 17? What did it say? Read me 17, verse 17 for me. They would build it on the wall, and they that their burdens. Uh -huh. Somebody say, builders build and burdens. Burn. Somebody builds, somebody bears burdens. The builders are working on building. All right, come on, they bear burdens, come on. With those that ladded, everyone with one of his hands brought in the work. Look at somebody say, everybody, everybody. got to work. Everybody got to work. Some builders, build. some bear burdens. Read on. And with the other hand, held a weapon. Watch this. The devil sees you built, but what he don't realize is that you pack it. Are y'all hearing me? So while he attacking the building, then here comes the brother with the sword, who says, I'm the one. My job is to protect the builders. While they are building, I'm not letting you get away with nothing. So God puts a sword in front of the builders. So while the enemy trying to get the builders, there's somebody packing with us, you they better say nothing. You might sleep us in here if you want to, but it's the folks sitting in the roof that's strapped. I can't get no help from here. Why do you think we just about to chunk because we shout and watch it? Don't get it twisted, baby. There's some skilled swordsmen in here. Everybody ain't been saved if they know how to fight. I got a few thugs in the room that they love Jesus, but if something jump off, y'all ain't saying nothing. You go in that crazy. You drop a marble if you want to. They do know why I know to do more than he can behind. We got some sword bears up in the camp. Grab your name and say, neighbor, not only do I praise, but I know how to fight. And I intend to fight the good fight of faith. Grab your name and say, neighbor, we go win because I'm a fighter. I know how to fight in prayer. I know how to fight in talks. I know how to fight in faith. 
I know how to fight, and if I don't, y'all got a sword there. The reason why everybody can't touch this, because this is not some mock iconic figure. This is a real sword. If you run your finger across this, you are going to bleed. Because ain't no sense of having no fake weapons. Baby, this ain't no talker toy. This is a battle we in. You need somebody with a real weapon. We not shooting blanks. We got power. Oh, I need 25 people to jump on your feet and tell them I got power. Get up and give God a praise, everybody. I got to move. Get up and give God a praise right now. Because God said we got a mind to work. The Lord said this is our season. When we get it in our mind, we're going to win. When you get it in your mind, you're going to win. You start wielding that sword like you know you're a winner. When you get it in your mind, you're going to win. You start hammering and nailing. You start sawing. You move around bricks. When you get it in your mind, you don't worry about what's in front of you. You decide if you come across me, then I'm going to cut you this year. This year, if you come at me, I'm going to cut you. I promise you, you're going to bleed fooling with me. Y'all better get it in your spirit. We got it this thing to lose. I'm not making a picture to impress nobody. I'm making a picture because we're going to build it. I'm not saying we some jack leg church. This church got power. If you're coming here with a demon, you will leave out of here healed. If you're coming here alcoholic, you leave it out of here sober. If you're coming here confused, you leave it out of here peace of mind. If you're coming here pumped, you leave it out of man. You're coming here at night, you leave it out of woman. If you're coming here crazy, you leave it out sane. Because we're not playing in here. We got power. We got power. We got power. Come on, y'all. Let's build God's church. A glorious church with a spot of wrinkle. Let's build a church where we love better. Let's build a church where we love better. Where we serve better. You can't be serious. Look at your neighbor and say, not on my watch. You're going to be blessed. You're going to have it together. If you got a cuss, get it out of your system. This is going to be your last dog. They say that. Tell them it's going to be your last cuss word. Because I will help you live better. Ain't nobody going to get you mad enough to get you to cuss. I know more language than that. I'll mess you up in English. I will lay you out with etymology, baby. I don't need profanity when I got etymology. I wish I had somebody. Shake your neighbor's hand and say, this is the year that you get over it. Let's build it together. Let's build it together. Clap your hands and give him a high praise. Clap your hands and give him a high praise. We want to make a sign. We build the wall. We all want to make a sign. Somebody said we're building. A better week. We're building. Better we. Not just me. But you and me. We are building a better we. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. One side of me says we're building a better we. Hallelujah. Stop the mission. One side of me says we're building a better we. We're building a better we. Which means I need to publicize to everybody around us that we make an announcement. This year, you're going to see this happening in our life. We are building. Somebody clap your hands for right now. I want to put a poster up next to my wall that says we are building something better. Over here, something better going on. Now that old mess is a better we have. Make a poster. You got you to start publicizing your stuff. Put it on your desk. Somebody comes to mess with you and say, oh, I'm building a better we this year. It's that year to come off at me. Because I'm building something better. That old mess that ain't happening no more. I'm building something better now. I'm working on something. And guess what? The devil thinks you're by yourself. I'm not alone. Because I'm going to invite you to become a part of we. Not just me, but I want to invite you to become another part. Become a part of what we're doing. One says we're building. The other says, I need you to join with me. And I want to invite you to become another part of we. Whatever you have, I need you on the table. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm better with you than without you. I'm better together than we are apart. You think we bad? You gotta see what I got and what you got. Because together, we are serious. I fight good from the right side, but somebody else fight good from the left side. So you better not come at us. We got all sides covered. Are y'all hearing me? I might be a prayer warrior, and you might be a major giver. 
But if I pray that you give, y'all ain't hearing me right now. Don't mess around to get a prayer warrior and a giver together. Because a prayer warrior and a giver will work. A prayer warrior will pray every keep it all, and a giver will pray every dime in. Y'all ain't hearing me anymore. We are building a better we. And I need you to become another part. If you're already in this church, I need you to become another part. If you're visiting, I need you to become another part. Not of this church, of the body of Christ. I need you to decide in your spirit, I want to be a part of something that's going to see me through all the way. God, I want you to fix stuff in me. I want to make myself better. I got some stuff with me. And I come to church, but I got some stuff with me. 